Bafana Bafana are still in the driving seat in the 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifiers after four matches. They have collected 10 points after three wins and a single draw. Second placed Ghana are not far off the pace with nine points after the same number of games. Third placed Ethiopia and bottom placed Zimbabwe are already out of contention. A win against the Warriors at the FNB Stadium on Thursday evening will increase Bafana Bafana's hopes of qualifying for the global football spectacle. We go for the winning, we go for the victory, this is for sure. Uh, we don't have another choice. So, uh, but that doesn't mean that we will be um, playing like fools. So we, the head has to be there also. Um, but we play for winning, so uh, this is for sure. And if we win against Zimbabwe, okay, then we go to Ghana certainly with points ahead. And this is again the situation we like. But after the current round of qualifiers, the 10 top finishers are still going to play against each other on a home and away basis to determine Africa's five representatives in Qatar. So it's not finished after this. So if we can uh, qualify us for the next round, it's still two other games against an opponent. So it's very difficult for an African team to qualify for World Cup. Um, but OK, we will do everything, first of all, already to be in the, in the next round. And then we will see which opponent we have there. But there again, we will fight for it because I think everyone, players, coaches, every, everyone uh, like to go to Qatar next year. Kaiser Chiefs forward Kikendoli makes a return to the side after a long absence. He says they will have to take it one game at a time to realize their dream of going to the World Cup. I think in the past it was it was a, a bit difficult because we were always dependent on other teams, you know. It wasn't in our own hands. And I think now being in this position is, is better for us, you know, because we, we, we have to do on the day. We have to perform on the day. And I think it starts with Zimbabwe on Thursday, you know. I think uh, we first have to focus on that game only. And then we focus on Ghana. And um, if we do that, uh, I think we will... We, we, will be heading uh, into the right direction. The experience of the 28-year informed Dolly will come in handy in the next few matches for the senior national side. I'm happy to be back. Um, the boys uh, have been re doing really well. We have an exciting group of players, you know, and for me coming into the camp, knowing that the boys are, are, are doing well and coming in the camp with confidence is always a good thing. So I'm, um, I'm excited for, for the next few days. Ethiopia will host Ghana in Johannesburg also on Thursday and both matches will kick off at the same time. FIFA have granted Ethiopia permission to play the qualifier at Orlando Stadium after the East Africans were banned from using the Bahirda Stadium for any international games. Sfeso Ramara, SABC News, 